All right, hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Finally, the 2000 go Goblin event has arrived and I'm gonna be taking you through everything you need to know. This is when the time starts and oops, when the event start and finishes. So the event is starting at uh, Thursday, the 27th at 1.30 p.m. Central Time and ends on Thursday, the 11th at 1.30 p.m. So yeah, there's a new, new, um, ma new boss called the Goblin Mother coming, which dr drops a Goblin Sinister Stew back, vanity pack, which I will get into it in a bit. So you can um, go find the portal in uh, Winmore or most of the other maps. Talk to the characters, and you, it will take you to Little Ridge. You can also go back to Ark and Legend and go on World Map and you'll see at the bottom of your screen there will be a little ridge that you can visit as well. My house right there, come visit if you're free. Energy, uh, you get, this is an energy event based map which means you need one energy kit to enter. Don't worry, you can farm this energy um, in um, in, in the tombs in city of Karag, um, KT4, so you can get energy from there. You also get one free energy every eight hour, which is good. The tons of loots and drops to get as well. You can also get the Ben item, which increases your damage. There's an Alexa as well, which you need to, a binding stone farmer's Alexa. These binding stones are required to make the goblin altar relic. This altar relic is needed to summon the Goblin Mother, which is a boss that gives you extra points toward your tier. The Goblin Clash uh, Crusher Alexa grants 50% damage and 10% armor bonus in the Goblin Event Zone as well. And finally, the tier bonuses, and there's a lot of um, things to get through. So the Goblin um, Mother gives a lot of... Uh, large number of leaderboard uh, points and tokens and also drops this sinister stew backpack this is what it looks like it looks like the head of an octopus inside this i personally think it's pretty cool like i really like that i fear it might be a bit too big for rogues and uh, mages but nonetheless it looks pretty cool there's a new vanity which you can get for um, 100 tokens um, it's called the Gleaming Goblin Vanity. Pretty cool, looks shiny. So I think this is going to be a vanity for a lot of new people. At the start of the uh, event, this probably be worth a bit. So try get it and sell it for a price. There are four tiers in this event. Firstly, at bronze tier, you get a Goblin Crusher Alexa, 2500 gold, and Intrepid Heroes Banner. This is a banner that is new to Arcan Legend and it actually looks really cool. Um, I'm so, this was based on the Goblin event. This was based on Goblin event, uh, the vanity contest that they ran. I'm going to show you the winners for this. So we have Java winning this, Konat, uh, and Rigrem. So these are the three um, winners for the event. So they got... Um, this stuff are coming from both leaderboard and other um, other places as well. So I'm gonna show you guys what that is. Basically, a closer look at all of them together. So going back here, we have three Greater Gilded Goblin Chest, two Silver Tier, three Goblin Crusher Elixir, and Binding Stuff from Elixir. <coughs> at Gold Tier, you get free pull on an unlocked Goblin Cartel Crate. I'll explain what this is down the line, so stay tuned. Binding Stone Firmus Elixirs, a brand new heroic pet called Venom. A uh, pretty good pet. I like the arcane ability. The stat is pretty good. I think it makes a really good um, starter pet, pet. So, yeah, if you are new to the game, try get to at least gold tier so you can get this pet because it will help you out significantly. And finally, for the Platinum tier, you get a new title called Hazard Hunter. 
I really like the title. I think that's pretty cool. Two free unlock goblin cartel crates. Again, so you can open them for a chance for good stuff. Two jewel chests. Tradable 50 crate key pack, which you can either open and use your luck on uh, crates, or you can sell that in auction. I personally would recommend selling that if you're a new player, but if you're an old player, do open and try your luck. You also get two binding stone for Ms. Elixir, and finally, the Goblin uh, Platinum Tear Toxic Terror Banner. This is what the Toxic Terror banner look like if we go down here. I think that is pretty cool. So yeah, there you go. This is the concept. This is how it looks in the game. And yeah, I do really like that. I think that is a really cool banner. So I'd love um, to see that um, happen as well. This is the leaderboard banner, by the way. It still looks really awesome. I do like that. For the leaderboard banner, you. For the leaderboard banner you get this right there so this is the cleansing hand of peace banner and you get the alchemist revenge backpack it's not but these aren't tradable but stashable it's like a uh, i don't even know how to explain this like two swords in a water like jar i guess it's like a mythical item i guess but it does look pretty cool so for the top 10 people you get this banner um, this backpack and you get a new vanity set called the Her uh, Heretic Hazmat Vanity Set. These are tradable but stashable. I think they're pretty cool. I would get them if I had the time and energy and money. Unfortunately, I only have two of those things. So I won't be going for te top 10. Um, you get a precious jewel of your class. Gold leaderboard titan, goblin grander. Really cool. Uh title so that'll be pretty cool to have 100 anchor no tradable and lastly 250 platinum as for top 25 you get both of the you get the cleansing hand of peace banner and the alchemist revenge backpack so these two you also get them for a top 50 as well and then you get a 45 jewel of your class <coughs> and 100 anchors Lastly, for top 50, you've got the banner, the backpack, and 100 egg. Tons of stuff from uh, the event vendor as well for all your uh, tokens. You get Wanderer Soon, Glimming Goblin Vanity, Goblin Warrior Shield. Personally, I wouldn't recommend buying any of this because they, they aren't really worth much. This is going to be worth it, I guess, this too, so do get this. The Unlock Goblin Cardinal Crate, you can probably sell this in auction for quite a bit. And the Hoarded Goblin Chest. Uh, you also get the classic Goblin Warrior Shield, which is pretty common, nothing special. But they have upgraded this year, and it's called Goblin Poison Chamber Shield Backpack, which looks pretty nice, I think. Very neat. Now, as for the Unlocked Goblin Cardinal Crate. What does it actually contain? We have the level 10 hassle set. So this is a speed set that is a ring and an amulet. If we go here, so it goes here and here for the speed people that like to do speed run. You get a level 30 toxic haste uh, set. You get level 50 venomous has set. So all of these three things have been in the past. And an addition to this year is level 70 pernicious hassle set. Looks really awesome. I love that. I think um, I'm going to be um, getting this for my character and probably this as well, just because the price for this will be really low. Just do wait till like the start of the second week before buying this. So price for this becomes stable because you don't know, you might buy it for like 20 mil and next week it's like 5 mil. So you might miss out. So I would recommend waiting till the second week when price are relatively stable to buy this. The set only works if you have both the ring and amulet, so keep that in mind. There's a new pet called Maria. Oh, sorry. It's not a new pet, but there is Maria the Jinn, which is really OP for killing bosses. There's a brand new Arcanite version of Chester. This is what he looks like. 
he gives 25% uh, uh, bonus gold loot. I think the previous was 15, not sure. And there's a new Arcanite Munch Mart. This is what it looks like. I think that's a pretty cool egg. You can tell it's different because of the hand, the wheel, and the fire up top. And it looks also a bit the slightly darker goldish tone. Um, the stats are pretty good, but I wouldn't say it's um, anything too special at this point. Um, although you do get quite a few amount of crit and armor. Um, you also get Arcan uh, Deary in it, Titan, Sentinel, Glowstick, and Heroic Venom in this chest. And lastly, you get the Goblin Cartel crate, crate which also gives a chance to look at the to look the new Goblin General Vanity Armor set and weapon. This is what it looks like. I think this is one of the better set coming out of this. I personally would have ran the Litterbird if this was like a Litterbird Vanity on top 10 but isn't so anyway pretty cool looking forward to having this even though it might be expensive and these are the weapons so shield i think this is the dagger this is the spear gun uh this might be the dagger and this might be the sword and bow anyway that is all for this event the event is looking nice i want to say thank you to everyone who contributed to making the leaderboard um who participated the goblin event vanity design contest and we got some really nice stuff coming out of this uh really like this so congrats to you all the winners and thank you for coming up with these great ideas i really like them and i like how the devs included not one or two but four of them that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.